life. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. I want to chat about getting to 400 here. Uh, now I'm like oddly emotional about it now thinking back. Because we were talking about on the drive over. Yeah. Where we started, we were in uh, kind of like a bonus room of our house. Mm -hmm. Like the man cave room we had converted into a podcast studio. Yeah. No video. No video. It got bigger. We moved down to the garage. Uh, that got bigger. We mm -hmm. ended up selling that house. And oddly enough, the people who bought the house listened to the show. And they yeah. tripped out when they opened up the garage door and, and saw, saw our, our entire set in yeah. there. And they were like, what the fuck? It probably helped us sell the house. But yeah. <laughs> um, it could help or hurt. They gave right? us full ask. Yeah. And it could help or hurt. Yeah. So you're yeah. like, uh. Yeah. If they listen to the show, I, I don't know. Whatever. In the new house, we, uh, we built on... We built out the uh, attic. I, would you call it an attic or a side room? I don't know what you would call it. Frog. Built out the, frog, yeah, the frog. Yeah. Yeah. Frog. The front room above the garage. Yeah. For anybody who doesn't live in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. We built that out and it was pretty big. And then we outgrew that. And now we're in a studio. Like a real a, life studio. A real life studio that's gorgeous with uh, a bunch of people working with us. And we've outgrown this. And so we're moving into a new studio um right around what september 20th i think mm -hmm. yeah crazy and jamie has been with us the whole time yes you have from the garage days how many years have we know from studio days yeah then to the garage days yeah this has been uh almost three years now yeah we've been doing this a little over three years that's crazy it's crazy when i first started the podcast i like bought logic uh -huh. which is the editing software. And I was like, this is how much I didn't know. I was like, where did the mics go? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like I knew nothing. You're a crazy talented person. Cause you picked up, you've never sound edited or done any of that stuff. No. Video edited, nothing. And just picked it up like that. That is the only thing that I'm missing in my arsenal is editing because it's so tedious and frustrating and mm -hmm time consuming that I'm like, fuck, I've always hired editors. Right. Um, so I think it's important that the people know that like you yeah. do all this stuff as much as I joke about you not being able to use it's Google. Yeah. I can't because which I is can't still do, crazy to me. Well, yeah, but I can't do two things at the same time. Right. So like if I'm editing, it's like I can't have a full on conversation with you. If I'm looking for something, I can't keep the conversation going. Do you sure. know what I mean? So that's where it the disconnect got it got it got it and also this thing's not on but no no that your if computer it were never on worked. i were i would be able to with time google okay um yeah but i am super super talented uh, <laughs> you are and like um, i look no, I, no. I i joke about it all the time but um uh, when we started this show the reason why it's called ross patterson revolution is we thought it was just going to be me doing interviews initially yeah. and you were going to be the producer kind of like uh robin kind of mm -hmm. like stern and robin and then i would interview guests and then you would interject mm -hmm. uh with things and as it evolved uh people loved you right and then it's because everyone like usually does yeah yeah of course oh sorry yeah it's like we're switching personalities right now <laughs> <laughs> but well, it's uh, funny. no when you, no when you start a show i just didn't sh i just wouldn't show up shut up so it's kind of like that you either like me or you don't. I'm I'm talking. Yeah. <laughs> and you were kind of like, don't like, don't talk so much. Let's dial it back a little Let's bit. Let's dial it back. I think a couple times you were like, let me just take the lead on stuff. And I was like, yeah, 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 sure. And then we'd get on air and I just would start talking. <laughs> <laughs> so I think you didn't really have a choice. Um, but here I am. Yeah. No, here you are. A couple of silver spoons. You can't silence women. No, but anybody out there who's trying to do a podcast, um, you start off with a format and, and it, it will change it will over change. time. It will change. Marin's changed. 
pretty much everybody starts drinking a bros certain way. Changed yeah. where it's like um, even drinking bros. Like we took some heat for some hosts, you know, leaving a couple mm. of hosts leaving. But uh, look, Rocco went on to do the Mayans. You know, shooting in L.A. wasn't couldn't be there anymore. Didn't have the time right. for it anymore. Um, Matt's promoting a book. Uh, and I do. Like- Evan's doing Black Rifle Coffee and like. It changes where because we took some heat on there for doing a lot of interviews, um, but it made the audience, it made the show go more mainstream, and people love the interviews. And you kind of split it, and you kind of figure out your format as you go. With this one, people didn't like the interviews so much. They liked our banter back and forth, which mm-hmm. is why it evolved into me and you. Right. And whenever I did shows without you, people would be like, "That's rad, Ross, but where's Jabe's?" Yeah, motherfuckers thought they. <laughs> yeah. Um, and they were like, some people have asked over time of like, why not change the, the name of the show? You can't uh, on right. iTunes. When you go back and get this big, like there's a there's some kicker in there that you, you have to, you know, if you're going to na- rename your show, it's got to go through a system. You got to reboot. You're going to lose all your subscribers. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, no. blah, blah. But we are going to add you to the logo. Um, so that will be in the works. It is up to really small in the corner. Very, very <laughs> tiny in the back. Very, very tiny picture of my face. You will have to actually screenshot the thumbnail <laughs> and then go into your pictures and zoom in. Yeah. To see my face, which I think will be fun. How? And you suggested that uh, many times. And so I'm just going with it. How funny would it be if I'm just holding a little tiny spoon and it's a, just a little pick of you on oh, the a little spoon. cheerio in milk <laughs> and then it's my face in there i would like it actually because it's funny <laughs> i'd rather go for that than like trying to be serious right yeah 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 so i'd rather have my face in a little tiny cheerio that you're holding like about to eat yeah right it'd be great it'd be-